Today I'm going to explain what is a yield curve. So, as an intro to yield curve, I will start with a definition. So, yield curve is the line that plots interest rates or bonds that have an equal credit quality across different maturity dates. The slope of the yield curve gives an idea of future interest rate changes and how the market participants estimate the current and future economic activity. When it comes to the real world discussion about the yield curve, the news that talk about it usually point towards the government yield related curve. The most important curve in the global economy is the US Treasury Debt Yield Curve that looks at the 3 months, 2 year, 5 year, 10 year and 30 year time spans and maturities of the bonds. So there are three types of yield curves that we can see in the real economy. So first of all, normal. That's an upward sloped yield curve. This curve has lower yields for shorter maturities, such as two and five years, and the yield increases as we go along the curve to 15, 20, and 30 years. Hence, the long-term investors are able to lock in uh, for longer maturities at a larger premium. Such curve implies stable economy and strong economic growth in the future. Then we also have the inverted or downward sloped yield curve. For this curve, we should expect the longer maturities to yield lower returns to the investors. This type of the curve corresponds to an, an economic downturn and even a recession. The investors typically purchase longer term bonds, viewing them as safer and driving their prices higher, hence lowering the yields and depreciating the bond prices. This type of the curve is a common recession indicator. And then the last one is the flat yield curve. It has a similar yields across all the maturities and there could be small deviations at some of them, though they are insignificant. The curve displays high level of uncertainty in the market and is very typical after a strong market growth period. Overall, the one investors should remember that the bond prices and interest rates are inversely related. The price of bonds will decrease when market interest rates increase and vice versa. These changes in the yield curve yields is called the yield curve risk. And speaking about current market and the application of the yield curve to the current conditions that we're experiencing in the US and pretty much global economy, we can look at the treasury yields from this week. Um, on the website, I have posted the image of the yield curve rates from the 4th of August. And uh, despite the fact that the current yield curve looks close to being very flat, the current yields at some of the maturities display a significant degree of inversion, which can be a strong indicator of recession. So the US market has two consecutive quarters of negative growth, which was the definition of recession before the current government has decided to change the definition, rather than accept the fact that there is a significant economic downturn. So we can already see a sign of recession from this graph of the yield curves if we look at the two and ten years maturities as they are among the most important ones, especially when it comes to the pension funds investing and other large asset owners uh, investing money and pumping money in the economy, as they are much larger than the usual retail investors. And so for the 10-year yield, we are currently at 2.68%, and for the two-year yield, we are at 303 as of 4th of August. So the inversion reaches 35 basis points, which is very significant and underlines the fact that we are very likely to be in the recession. <laughs>